Hello, today we're hanging out with Rhonda. She is the founder of the National Pancreatic Cancer Foundation. We are here in Rapid City. So Rhonda, just tell us a little bit about your story and how you came to found this foundation. Um, well, in 2009, uh, we founded the organization about eight months prior to losing uh, my mother-in-law to pancreatic cancer. She fought a five-year battle, a little bit over five years, and then um, succumbed to the disease in January 2010. We realized that after that five-year battle, they were completely depleted of everything. Retirement funds, any kind of savings, everything was gone. So. Uh, we decided that people needed some financial assistance. So we originally started our organization out with our financial assistance program to help people keep a roof over their head and food on their table. Early detection is key with pancreatic cancer. Without early detection, we're gonna lose people, continue to lose them. So it's just, we have to be very diligent in just educating people and letting them know signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer. And they can be very, like there's back pain and uh, digestive issues. It can be very similar to other things, but you need to do your due diligence if you're not getting any you know, relief from those, from those symptoms to make sure that it's not pancreatic cancer, especially if it's in your family. We fund not only traditional medicine, but we also fund alternative options because we find that both working together is where we're getting more survivors of pancreatic cancer. You know, when, when he was diagnosed, they gave him three months to live is what they said. And it's now nine years that he was no evidence of disease. Right. And I mean, we, when we drove home, it was the quietest drive home because we just really didn't even expect a miracle, but I call him my miracle man because he truly is a miracle. There is hope. If you don't get the right diagnosis the first time, go to another doctor or go to the Mayo Clinic or go to somewhere where <clears throat> they know more about pancreatic cancer. We hope that through my being a survivor, that it'll create other survivors as time goes on. And, they'll, and they are getting better. The treatments are getting better um, and all that. So yes, I mean, don't ever get discouraged. We just feel like God kept Tom around to give people with pancreatic cancer hope. We've made an impact. We've, we've provided over $2 million in financial assistance to pancreatic cancer patients across the United States. So we're helping them pay their rent, mortgage, utilities for up to three months while they're in treatment. So it's not just necessarily here in the Black Hills. I mean, you're all over the U.S. or the... We're national, yes. We, there is a support group. Actually, the pancreatic cancer survivor on our board, she holds an online support group for pancreatic cancer patients and caregivers if they would like to join. So we do have that information. We disseminate that out to our supporters in case they are in need of that. We also offer patient advocacy, which is, it's just it's so important that you have someone that's helping you guide you through some of the medical stuff. There's a lot of dynamics that go with when you are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer or any cancer for that matter. And they need, they need assistance because they have no idea so we're here to help them with that. Our website is the best way to get a hold of us, but we also have an 800 number that they can call.